Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be preparing banana cake, which is um, one most moistest banana cake you ever ate in, in your life. How easy it is, very simple. We have here two cups of flour, third cup of sugar, three fourth cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar, cup of chopped walnuts, one stick or eight tablespoons of melted butter, teaspoon of baking soda, fourth teaspoon of salt, just regular salt. We have five figs here, dry figs. I'm gonna use these to chop them. I have three ripened bananas. They need to be ripened. That's when the sugars kick in. Um, we have here a tablespoon of cinnamon, nice good cinnamon and we have here a sugar vanilla which you could use vanilla extracts or a vanilla bean i have two here room temperature eggs we're gonna start with with our eggs first usually that's where we start first starting your room temperature eggs it's a very fast preparing your banana cake and uh, 350 temperature we're going to use a bun pan this bun pan i by accident i discovered the bun pan it's better to be um using on the cake it cuts the process of baking very fast so to this we put a tablespoon of melted butter, unsalted me melted butter. We're gonna put our brown sugar. That's three fourths of a cup. This is one third of a cup of white sugar. We don't want it too sweet, overwhelming. We want a cake, but we don't want too much of the sugar. It's very simple delicious cake. I find this very, very easy. And the most cakes are my family. They love this. It's simple with coffee, cold, hot. It really doesn't matter. It's one of those cakes that just, you can't go wrong. And just with your fingers, Make sure the bananas are ripened before you use them. You just throw them in there on the liquids. We want a little chunk and a little bit of bite to it. We don't want it too mushy. We want a little bite to them. All three bananas are there. We have our oven preheated. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm making banana cake. Throw your vanilla sugar, your baking soda, your fourth teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of cinnamon, cup of crushed walnuts, and just fold these together very simple so moist and so fast you'll be surprised you can never go wrong with banana cake you can put chocolate chips which I made this was before banana chocolate chip cake you could put uh, raisins, pecans, or pecans, however you want to call them. To this, we have five dry figs. Just you gotta chop these fine. Don't forget to remove the ends of your dry figs. Those are the heart core pieces. You just chop them fine. Throw them in your bowl. Fold them. Now you can add 
at your flower. By just folding it. that our cake is nice and mixed. And lumpy, this is what we want. We want to bite to all the, just take halves of the, and decorate in the bottom of our bun pan. I don't know if you could see them, but I'm putting them in the divider here. And just when you flip the cake, it's beautiful. The bottoms, just a couple of them like that. Now you spray your pan generously everywhere with pan spray. Just drop your cake gently so you don't move the walnuts, the shapes. So moist and delicious. Serve it with ice cream. When you have too much bananas and you run out of ideas, this is per subscriber request. It's like, I don't know what to do with all those bananas. I told her, I said, this is one dessert that you can't not make. It's so simple. Try it at 3.55 for 45 minutes. Our banana cake is done and our skewer is clean. We're just gonna flip it and our board. Make sure you put two pot holders and flip. Let's see how it came out. Hopefully it'll come out good. And there goes our banana cake. So moist with dry figs and walnuts and delicious brown sugar. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, ciao.